Alrighty guys, good evening. Madman Mondello coming at you live from the Garden Devil Garage here in beautiful Alabama once again. Yes. Alright. Now, we have a three console stream here for Thickums Thursday. And I just came up with that. Don't ask me why I just did. But anyway, we have, uh, sorry for the late stream because it is kind of late. But, you know, uh, unfortunately I had to replace the PCM in my truck. And then, of course, I had to find out that the fuel pump was no good too. You know, I'm like going like, Really? Drop the tank, here we go, you know? I mean, just, just a freaking nightmare today. But anyway, in the middle of that, okay, I've got uh, three consoles here, all right? We have uh, we have here Mr. Chris Keith Lee first, okay? Jacqueline Zenjez, I hope I pronounced your name right, okay? And, of course, we have, uh, we have uh, Jerry Barron, okay? And uh, we're going to use the first one here for an example, all right? And we're going to go through this thing, and I'm going to show you what we're having who. All right, it's up on the line servers. Also got a 10-day trial of the Purge. Also, lifetime on this one. This one's got lifetime on it, I do believe. And uh, this one's one terabyte, okay? It's Trinity Slim, v 3 in it, all right? And, of course, College Football Revamp. Uh, it's got version 11 mod, okay, for NCA 14, VO2, MW3, Ghost, off host, as well as Jiggy and Sentinel. All right, so we're going to fire this thing up, all right? And hopefully, within the same amount of luck, it'll boot. And I'm going to go through this thing with you guys, Okay? And uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go, I'm going to go through it. I'm going to explain a whole bunch of stuff on here. All right. So that way then you get the gist of it. All right. And uh, pretty much then, then what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to show you how to uh, set it up on your network for the first time. Copy and paste files and folders, all that kind of good stuff. Okay. Use some mods, all that happy nonsense. Okay. So it's booting up and we're going to boot up into Aurora. Okay. We're using Aurora. As you can see, push 4.0, uh, lifetime off. All right, you're good. So when this thing does update to 4.0, you'll get the lifetime on that as well as 3.9. All right, and uh, pretty much we're booting up into show all. Okay, now Aurora, okay, it's a dashboard all to its own. All right, um, it was the uh, it was the comings after of FSD dash. Okay, uh, a lot of things changed with Aurora, and of course it's a it's a really good program. It's got a lot of good stuff to it, and the databases are. A little bit better structured and all that you know it's got a little bit more flash to it and uh you know it's pretty well supported okay uh now what we booted into is show all okay this is all the stuff that's on the hard drive okay and there's a ton of stuff on this hard drive all right um look if you hit the back button on the controller it's going to give you a file manager that you can go to to copy and paste files and folders over with a usb stick okay you got scripts restart reboot and shut down all right of course your temperatures you know and then of course the local area ip address all that stuff and then of course you have the start button where the business end of this thing is you have your assets so if you want to if you want to update your assets if you want a different uh you know di different title covers you can all right you can download them all that kind of good stuff all right and of course when you select the assets you know you see icons box art banners background all that crap all right you got your profile where you can set it up so it auto signs in i keep it at none so that way then I can select the profile that I want to uh, go online or whatever. You got your content folder, okay? Now, now this here, this here is where everything is stored on the hard drive, okay? And the database is set up, you know, so that way then you can, if you put a new game on it, like if you put it in the games folder, okay? It's part of that path right there. So once you put the game in, you copy it, let's say, go to scan now and just scan it. It'll find it and then it'll download the title artwork for it, okay? Now, you got your modules, language, security, and about. All right, now I'm going to back off on this thing. All right, now hitting the left and right shoulder button will bring up a context menu. Okay, there's your context menu right there. We're going to show all. Now we'll move over to the right. We're going to hit Xbox 360. Okay, and of course you're going to have all your 360 games. All right, now we're going to start off here. All right, now notice we're at the dashboard, okay? Battlefield, Battlefield 2, okay? You got Black Ops 3. You got a bunch of uh, COD series, of course. You got you got the BO series, of course. You know, Ghost, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 3. World at War, you know, and then of course you got the Fines, MMA, Fable 2, the Gears of War series, okay, your Grand Theft series, your Halo series, okay, Hitman, Cannon Lynch, you know, Madden 25, Medal of Honor, Midnight Club, Minecraft, yeah, NBA, two, uh, NBA 2K through, through 2K17, NBA Jam, then you got NCAA Football uh, 10, 12, 13, and of course 14, which everybody loves, all right, and then of course you got NHL 12, you got PGR, you know, Pop Cap Collection. That's a bunch of uh, that's a bunch of like arcade games, stuff like that. It doesn't have a title. Uh, it doesn't have a title title screen for it. You know, I mean, so it's blank, unfortunately. But that's just the way it is. 
All right, you read Dead Redemption, uh, Resident Evil, Saints Row, you know, the Saw series, Skyrim. Okay, you SmackDown, Sonic Unleashed, you know, uh, Super Street Fighter, of course, Sims, TNA, Ghost Recon, Tomb Raider, Wolfenstein, that's a multi-disc game, okay? So on and so forth, a bunch of wrestling stuff on it, All-Stars, you know, WrestleMania, all that crap. And then, of course, we're back to Xbox 360 dashboard. So there's a ton of Xbox 360 titles on there. And there's more than enough space. You can even put more on here if you want, okay? You got 80 gigs free, so you could, you know, each game, depending upon DLC and all that crap, you know, it, it can run from, from 12 gig all the way up to, I mean, GTA is like friggin' like, like, 50 gig or whatever the hell, you know, I mean, it's huge, so, you know, I mean, like I said, it all depends on how much downloadable content that there is and all that crap, all right, now, we're going to hit the right shoulder button once again, we're going to Xbox Live Arcade, now, you got a bunch of X XBLA on this thing, all right, this thing is loaded with XBLA, all right, there's all kinds of Xbox Live Arcade games on this thing, as you can see, there's a ton of them, okay, so on and so forth, all right, you got your homebrew section where your tools reside, okay, you got the Flash 360, XM 360, okay, Simple Man Flasher, you know, the dashboard, okay, and uh, we'll go into Dash Launch and XM 360, those are two very important programs that you need to make your friend really, really close acquaintances, okay, if you know what I'm saying, all right, now, we'll go over here, Xbox Classic Games, this is for the uh, original Xbox from back in 2002 to 2005, all right, and uh, it plays the classic games as well. There's, there's, there's a certain way that you have to play them. Some of them don't have artwork. There ain't nothing I can do about that. Okay, you know, I mean, that's all up to Unity and Aurora and all that kind of good stuff. And obviously, they never put the title artwork on this thing for this stuff. Okay? But anyway, they all, they're all playable. They all work. All right? Then, of course, you got your indie games. These are developer games that they developed. Okay? As you can see, there's uh, some crazy titles in here. All kinds of uh, crazy stuff like, yeah, like that right there. Okay? So on. Yeah, you do that, and you wind up paying child support twice, you know, it's a bad thing, okay, so don't do that, okay, like she's got two in the oven, never mind one, alright, so anyway, okay, now, we'll go to emulators, emulators, there's a ton of emulators on here, there's over 7,000 ROMs, just in MAME alone to keep you busy, Sega's got ROMs, Game Boy Advance got ROMs, uh, FCUX, which is NES, that's got a ton of ROMs in it, okay, SNES 360 got a ton of ROMs in it, you, you have more than enough on there to keep you busy for a while, okay, now, We'll go ahead, we'll move this over, and then, of course, we're back to show all, all right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, and we're going to go right to the uh, right to the original dashboard right here, okay? Now, you're going to see a square pop up with your name on it. All right, now, you're going to have 30 days. Don't worry, Chris. I got you covered, man, okay? Don't worry. All right, and when you get it, you'll have 30 days, I promise. Just rolled over, unfortunately, GMT time, all that crap, okay? So, anyway, got it? Good, okay? Now, we'll bypass the sign-in. You'll see that it's up, it's on live, it's got a good KV and all that other happy nonsense. Now, you hit the guide button, okay, over in our fifth tab, we have our cheats, okay? You got PO2 cheats, ghost cheats, Modern Warfare 3 cheats, Modern Warfare 2 cheats. I got to send you the update for this, okay? Because we're going to have advanced warfare cheats. Um, they're, they're coming out, okay? In fact, my developers have been working on them, so, you know, just to let you know. So, this grayed out one here is going to be live soon, all right? Just to let you know, all right? But anyway, to disable, hit A, to enable. Hit A. It's pretty easy, okay? And now, to get back to Aurora, just go just go back to Xbox Home. That'll take you back. All right, and I'll take you back to Aurora, okay? And what I'm going to do here, all right, I'm going to go ahead, and uh, I'm going to, hey, Mike, how are you, man? Tony, how are you, man? Yeah, I, oh, man, Marlon, yeah, how, uh, Mary, how are you? It's good to see you. Yeah, I missed the original Blade Dashboard, too. Yeah, it's been a while, man. It really has. In the screaming chat. Yeah, I know it does, Antonio. I'm using a totally different mic now. Okay, that thing was terrible. Oh, my God, that mic was horrible. But, uh, you know, Mary, it's been a while, brother. You know, I mean, I just got off of, uh, I just got out of Facebook jail. Okay, <laughs> you, you, you know me. Okay, you know, I, I tend to rock the boat a little bit. Facebook doesn't like that. You know what I mean? But, but it is what it is. Hey, Dustin, how are you, man? Good to see you. Um... But, you know, Facebook doesn't, I guess they don't like me. I don't know, you know, maybe because I'm a little too outspoken or something, you know. I mean, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. What are you going to do, you know. I've been around, though, man. I've been posting like a freaking fiend for the past month. Oh, my God. But um, anyway, as you can see, all right, so we're back to show all, okay. Now, I'll tell you what. We're going to go ahead, and what we're going to do is we're going to sign in a, uh, we're going to sign in a profile. This is just a local profile, all right. It's not, it's not on Xbox Live or anything like that. 
it, it can be, but it's not, all right? So we're just going to use this for, you know, local games, okay? To, to just explain the mods to the people that are new on this thing and they don't know or whatever, you know, so I, I want to give them some kind of information, all right? So anyway, okay, look, we'll go to Xbox 360 games, okay? Uh, we'll pull out, uh, let's see here. First of all, we'll do college football revamp. Now, listen, guys, it's very important, okay, that you stay in touch with the GitHub, okay? College football revamp GitHub. Okay, if you're into this game, please get on that GitHub because every month they they're coming out with updates, okay? You got hundreds of people writing for this stuff, all right? And, uh, you know, I mean, they got team colors, they got rosters, they got all... Anything you want to know about this mod, it's there. Go there, please, okay? And and keep up with it because every month when they have an update, you know, like we're on version 11. We were, we were on version 10. We went to version 11, okay? Well, version 10 is no good now. So now if you have version 10 loaded... You're just going to get a black screen or it's going to crash or whatever. So you got to update to version 11. you got to copy and paste six files over. All right? The GitHub explains everything. All right? And it's really easy to do. So please, please visit that GitHub. All right? So anyway, we'll start this up just to show you that it works and everything. All right? It's already set up. But you're going to have to get on live. You're going to have to get some gold. Okay? You're going to have to get on live. All right? And then what you do is you can download the rosters. You can inject them and everything. If you got a PC... That GitHub has web applications for computers, and so that way you can edit databases and all that other crap, okay, and inject all kinds of stuff. You know, it's really cool. There's a lot of stuff on there. Also, visit their Discord. Their Discord is it has, has hundreds of people on it, okay? The Xbox section, you know, there's a, there's a guy there that takes care of that section alone, um, and it's, you know, the guy's real good, and if you have any problems or anything like that, he'll help you with the mod or whatever. It's all cool, all right? They're really into this game. A lot of people love it, all right? So anyway... We're going to start it up, and I'm just going to show you that it works, okay? Um, and like I said, once you get on the GitHub and everything, once you get your feet wet and you get used to it, it's really cool. A lot of people love it. Like I said, I got a lot of uh, got a lot of people at both consoles the last month, and they, they're loving it. They're telling me they, they, they love it. So I'm just like, okay. It's like, that's all we play. I'm like going like, oh, my God. All right, so anyway. All right, so we're at play now, of course, you know, all right? And, you know, as you can see, it all works. Everything is ready to go. You ain't got to mess with anything. All right, it's already laid out for you. The groundwork is laid out for you. All you got to do is just keep up with the updates, and you'll be fine, believe me. All right, so anyway, then your Road to Glory 2020 season, team management settings, Ultimate Team, Xbox Live, My NCAA Legacy, EA Sports Extras, College Football Revamped. Okay, so as you can see, the mod is already installed. It's really easy. It's good to go. All right, just keep up with the GitHub, and you'll be fine. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to back out of here. All right, I'm going to move on to GTA 5. Okay, and, um, you know, I want to show you guys something, too. All right, just so just so you understand, you know. And, Tony, it is so good to see you, though, Brent. <laughs> That's cool. It's good to see all of you guys. It really is. Um, uh, anyway, all right, look. All right, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll through here. I'm going to show you something here. It's very important, okay? Listen, all right? When you get over to Xbox 360 games, all right, if you have a problem with a game that is fatal crashing or whatever, okay or you have a problem with with, with 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 any of these games or whatever okay which i go through them and they they all work so you know but in case something gets corrupted or something like that you know it can really spoil the day okay let me show you something here title updates are the most important thing on this thing all right you know i mean the games they don't really get they, they don't get corrupted but title updates do for some reason i don't know why but sometimes they do but let's say you let's say you go to grand theft auto 5 okay Let's say that the menu isn't popping up or it's fatal crashing and it's doing all kinds of stupid stuff, all right? Listen, hit Y, okay? Go over here, all right? Make sure that this thing is checkmarked, that it's all white, that it's not like that, but it's like that, that it's enabled, okay? Now, in the event, okay, that you're having a problem with it, even with it enabled, well, then what you do is you delete this thing, then go over to Unity Marketplace by hitting the right, right shoulder button, and as you can see, version 27... Just download it, reinstall it, select it, and then run it, and it'll be fine, okay? Just to let you know, all right? Because most of the time, that's what happens with these crazy things, okay? Just to let you know, all right? So anyway, what we'll do is we'll do a little Grand Theft Auto V with the purge menu, okay? And you got lifetime on this thing, so it's going to pop up lifetime and all this little happy nonsense. It's going to give me a text box menu, of course. We're going to use, uh, we're going to select uh, D-pad left and X just to run it, all right? We'll go through that. No, it should be it should be uh twenty four with the uh, USPS priority. Oh, awesome, man! One terabyte drive in one year. Yeah, yeah, that's good, man. That's good. Yep. Yeah. 
one year warranty is nice. Uh, it, on a fat Jasper, though, I mean, really, the, the warranty, you don't really need it. I mean, I got one right here that I'm, that's going out. I love Jaspers, man. They're, 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 a tough little, they're a tough little bird. All right, so anyway, we'll open the menu with left D-pad and X. We'll hit A. And now what's going to happen is this. Please do not quit. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let it run. All right, it's going to load into a game save that I got on here, okay? We're going to open the menu with D-pad left and X. We're going to use A to select. We're going to use B to back out and back out of the sub-menu, Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you some mods on it. Now, this, this this menu has been around for a long time. It's a very stable menu. Works really good with it. A um, lot of fun. A lot of good stuff on it and everything. Warp on now, of course, is way better. All right, which is what's coming out. But, you know, I mean, like I said, right now, right now, he, he's working on server with it and all kinds of stuff. So, you know how that goes. All right. So, you know, like I said, he wants it to be perfect when it comes out. I don't blame him. He doesn't want to have any, any, any issues. And he sure as hell don't want it cracked. So, needless to say, you know, that's where that's at right now. But anyway, this is going to be 3.9 that you use, all right? And uh, once it loads, we're going to go in and uh, we're going to go right into a game save that we've got, all right? And, uh, you know, and then I'm going to show you some mods on this thing. After that, then I'm going to show you uh, BO2, MW3, uh, you know, BO2 with the uh, Jiggy Sentinel and the off host, of course, okay? So, that way, then you guys know. Yeah, I know, Antonio. Yeah, listen, man, it, you know, you're right, because, like I said, I offer one year of part and labor on that. That means the part and the labor, too. Okay, so if that console fails, even though, hey, Tyler, how are you, man? So even if if something fails inside that console, it, I'm eating it, okay, you know, but that's, you know, when you're going to offer a warranty, you either do it right or don't do it at all, okay, you know, I mean, you know, I'm sorry, but, you know, I mean, it's a machine, and it can fail, sure it can, you know, I mean, nothing's perfect, it's not made by God, but... You know, I mean, if you got some insurance, it's a good thing, okay? So anyway, we'll go over here now. We'll bash through the door, okay? And we'll walk around here, okay? And here we are, okay? Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up the menu, okay? D-pad left and X, there it is, okay? Dang it, I don't want that damn phone. <laughs> okay, so anyway, all right. We're going to quick start options. I'm going to hit A. I'm going to turn all of this crap on, except for never wanted. You got to have some kind of fun. All right, here we go. All right, and then I'm going to hit B to back out. I'm going to go to quick options, okay? I'm going to turn on improved fly mode. Then I'm going to go ahead, and you know me. I, 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 I'm I kind of a sucker to have a group around me, so, you know, it's nothing like having a bunch of strippers, okay? You know what I mean? Yeah, there you go. That's it. That's what I like it, okay? Chris told me his girlfriend doesn't mind strippers, so life is he's a lucky man. All right, so anyway. <laughs> okay, anyway, we got our strippers, okay? Life is good. Now we're going to go to the weapons options, have some fun here, okay? And we'll grab a tank gun, artillery gun. Yeah, a grenade gun. Yeah, some fire ammo and some explosive ammo. That'll take care of just about everything, okay? So anyway, now, now we'll back out of here, okay? And then what we'll do is, is I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to the MISC options right here, and I'm going to back up the time a little bit so you can see a little better, okay? So there we are. Nice, bright, sunny day. We can see nipples. Yes, we can. Oh, uh, yes. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Ooh, I'm seeing fur. Shit, shave that damn thing, will you? Anyway. Okay, so anyway, that's enough with the strippers. All right, so anyway, we're back out of here. Now, we're going to close the menu with D-pad left and X, okay? I'm going to, excuse me, ladies. Okay, get out of my way. Okay, I'm going to grab hold of a freaking AK-47 right here. Oh, look, a hapless victim. Isn't that nice, okay? Yeah, I'm going to light your freaking G-strings on fire. What do you think of that, okay? Yeah, I'm a nice guy, aren't I? Yeah, super pimp. Pimp daddy, okay? Now. As you can see, I'm causing all kinds of mayhem and uh, mayhem destruction. Ooh, that guy really got, ooh, that hurt. So anyway, as you can see, all kinds of crazy shit happens, okay, you know? Now, all right, any event after you want to get away from all this, well, it's pretty easy. Just go to Los Santos Customs, vehicle spawner, and grab hold of a, grab hold of a freaking scooter, okay? You're cool. Scooters are cool, okay? Get the hookers on board. Life is good, all right? There we go. We're on, baby. And now we're going to fly through the air with the greatest of ease. There we are, okay? And now we're flying through the air. Yeah. And, you know, like I said, you, you know, when in doubt, okay, you want to make some money, just go to the bodyguard menu, go to go to the stun gun strippers, and you, you could just drop them off all over the place. Go make me money, bitches. There you go, okay? So on and so forth, what they're good for. All right? So anyway, yeah, we're going to, yeah, I'm going to wind up in somebody's backyard here. Wait a minute. Whoa, I'm skinny. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Nice and easy. There we go. Let's Let's take it easy here now. All right, so, uh, yeah, we're going to go through the air here. Wait a minute. I'm going to land on this building right here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I landed. Okay, life is good. Yeah, we'll get out of here. 
get out of town, so on and so forth. Ah, so nice, yes. Eh, we could just make a whole bunch of messes right here. What are you doing trying to back up, huh? Okay, that ain't gonna work for you. Yeah, there you are. Okay, so anyway, yeah, as you can see, it all works pretty good. And we can wind up destroying all kinds of crazy stuff. You can also turn the force field on. That's even more fun because then everything around you just gets, like, blown up and everything. So, you know, eh, so on and so forth. What? Is that a helicopter? Bitch! Get the freak out of my face. Yeah, you freaking old-fashioned egg beater. Anyway, as you can see, that's Purge, okay? A lot of fun. Good menu. There you go. Back out of here. All right. Well, we're going to go back, and we're going to go back to Xbox uh, 360 games here. Yo, J-Dog, what's happening, man? Xbox One. Yeah, I know, man. <laughs> no, it's not. No, Xbox One is not coming soon. <laughs> oh, people with that tin. Say, any mods for Xbox One? Everybody asked me, any, any news yet? Any news yet? I'm like, no. <laughs> You know, I mean, I'm not going to tell you, okay? You know, there's going to be an exploit, but I think it's going to be kept private because a lot of people, um, there's already people that have been to jail, okay? All right, you know what I mean? And are in jail, okay? So, you know, that DRM, man, that, that, that really puts a cap on a lot of shit, okay? If you don't know what DRM is, digital rights management. Look it up, okay? Yeah, look it up. Just watch the way they covered themselves with that one, okay? They learned from their mistakes with this thing right here. They really did. All right, so anyway, okay, now we're back here, okay? I'm going to go ahead and we'll go to Xbox 360 games, all right? Now, look, all right, here we go. All right, now, I'm going to do a little Black Ops 2, Black Ops 2, okay? The, the off-host works for Ghost, you know, MW3, and Black Ops 2. The only reason why I'm doing Black Ops 2, you got Jiggy and Sentinel on there, which are two GSC menus, and, you know, you need to know how to use them, okay? So I'm going to use this for an example. Um, if you want me to, I can show you Ghosts. I can show you uh, MW3 if you want, whatever. You know, if you want me to show you that, uh, a little bit, a little bit different format, but the same commands, okay? So anyway, we'll fire up Black Ops 2, all right? As you can see, it applies to title updates and a lot of other happy nonsense, okay? Yeah, we are. We're bypassed. We're good, okay? Now we're going to sign into Black Ops 2 here. Here we are. After the Dolby logo, okay? It's Dolby. <laughs> what, uh... Gay Dog, listen, man. Okay, look, on my website, if you go there, if you pick one with a 250 gig drive, it's like $164, bro. Okay? And that's fully loaded like this. You know, I mean, it, you know, the hard drive is loaded. It's good to go. It comes with the server and everything else, just like this thing does. Okay? So, you know, I mean, it's like 164 bucks, and I think it's 20 bucks for shipping, I think. Okay? You know, I mean, if you go to the website, you can, you, you can get it. Uh, you know, I mean, really easy. We take PayPal, and we take Amazon Pay, and we only do goods and services. That way, then... You know damn well you're going to get your console, all right, you know? And everything is shipped with tracking numbers and everything, okay? So, you know, you know how that goes, all right? You know, I mean, so, there you are. And I only use, I only use new parts, you know? I use new hard drives. I don't play no games, all right? I ain't got time to play games, okay? Because every time if I use the old hard drive, something would happen. And I just know I'm not doing that anymore. New shells, new everything. I make sure the damn thing runs. And if, God forbid, something happens, it comes with a three-month part and labor warranty. If you want to, you can get an extended 12-month warranty. That covers everything. Same thing. Okay, so there you go. Except if you drop it if you drop it off of a building. I'm not covering warranty on that. That's your ass, not mine. Okay, so there you go. All right, so anyway, we're going to press the start button here. Yeah, there, is some, there is limitations to the warranty. If you send it back to me where it's melted down like a piece of plastic puddle that it was in a fire... No, I'm not going to warranty that, okay? It's not my fault. You poured gas on it, or you got drunk, spit all over it, and lit the damn scotch on fire, okay? I don't want to hear it, okay? Not my, not my deal, man, okay? No cigar burns, no none of that either. All right. So anyway, okay, now we're going to go into multiplayer right here, all right? Let's get fire off. You're going to see BO2 cheats are loaded. You're going to see you're going to see that BO2 is bypassed because it's running a separate title, of course. All right, there you are. Life is good. All right, we'll go to a local game right here. We'll make this real quick, okay? I'm going to put nine bots on it, and then we're going to start the match. Now, the off host, which comes with the server, okay? D-pad left to open it, X to select, beat it back out, D-pad left to close it, okay? Now, Jiggy, hold in the left trigger, push down right thumbstick, A to select, X to back out, all right? I'm going to narrate it as it go, all right? And uh, with Jiggy, if you want to keep it, if you want to use Jiggy online, I'm going to show you how to do that as well, okay? Because uh, a lot of times people forget that they have to open up their own session and, you know, force the host. All right. So anyway, all right. We're going to grab a weapon here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up Jiggy. 
Holding left trigger, push down on the right thumbstick. There it is. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use uh, I'm gonna use A to select. Okay, I'm going to go to main mods. I'm going to do quick mods. They're going to pop up over here. Okay, and that includes, of course, God mode and all that kind of good stuff. And it's just an easy way to select what you want. All right, there's a ton of mods on this crazy thing. Okay, now look, if you want to, all right, and let's say you want to use Jiggy online with the off host. Okay, you can. What you need to do, you go into a session like this. You open up the menu. And then what we'll do is we'll go down to host only right here. Whoop, I'm drunk. Okay, hit A, and then hit A to force the host, okay? Once you do that, back out of this session, then join a public lobby or whatever, you'll be, you'll be the host, and then you'll be able to use Jiggy and also the off host, okay? You know, I mean, most people just use the off host. Some people, they use Jiggy and the off host. It doesn't matter. It's whatever your, whatever your tastes are, okay? So anyway, now we're going to back out of here with X, okay? Now I'm going to grab hold of some bullets here. I'm going to make somebody really hurt real bad. Okay, yeah, we'll use dog bullets too and player bullets. Yeah, what the hell, okay? Then I'm going to back out of here with X, okay? Now, let's set up just enough, okay? Now, uh, the off host, D-pad left. There's your off host right there. X to select. And just turn all this crap on right here. Then you got this, okay, on screen. This and this and this. Uh, ESP menu, that. And, uh, we'll put pyramids around it. Now, you set it up any which way you want, man. It's your console, okay? Then we'll back out of here, stand up, D-pad left. There we go. Now, when the snap lines turn blue, let them have it, all right? As you can see, we'll fly through the air with the aid of Jiggy, because we have Jiggy loaded. And we can get a bird's eye view and kill everything in sight, and then some, okay? With our dog bullets and explosive bullets and all that shit as they're running around. Blow cars up and all that shit. Yeah, he's dead, too. Yeah, everybody's gonna die, all right? Now, in the event, okay, you wanna really put the screws through him, go to unfair aimbot, now you shoot through building schools and everything else, and then it's automatic headshots, hooray for you, and now you're going to get your profile banned, and you're going to get a whole bunch of hate mail, and people are going to despise you. So don't do what I do online, okay? That's just for demonstration purposes, okay? Now we'll back out of there, all right? Now, as you can see, it all works really well. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> anyway, okay. Well, we're done with that, okay? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you over to Sentinel, okay? Now, uh, well, I should say zombies, okay? And we'll back out of there, yeah. And then we'll back out of here and we'll go straight to zombies, all right? Now, if you start zombies right from the beginning, okay, you can use the off host on zombies too, all right? But right now, because I, I went from one title to the other, it will not load that, all right? But it does load Sentinel. So I'm going to show you here, okay? Look, we're going to do a little, quick little local game right here, all right? And there's Mother Earth. The way it looks now. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's all good, brother. Man, oh my. Yeah, no problem, Antonio. Yeah, I can do that, Antonio. I'll take a look at it, man. All right, and find out what, where, how, and who. In fact, I'll message you after the stream, okay? Just give me a minute, all right? Tyler, I, I have I have dev kits. Uh, getting them, I can I I can, but it's like pulling teeth, and they're not cheap. Okay, I mean they they used to be they used to be cheap, but now that people don't have them or they're already been bought up and people use them, they they're not turning loose of them, man. Okay, you know I mean I would love to have another Jasper dev kit, but unfortunately no, you know I mean but if you want one, I can I can put out the word and see what's up. Okay. And, uh, you know, see, see if I can get you one, you know, I, I mean, there's two here, but, you know, like I said, you know, I mean, they're very hard to come by, okay, you know, they really are. All right, so anyway, now, now we'll start the freaking match off, okay? <laughs> Chris is like going like, what is this, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, so let's we'll start the match off, okay? And a sentinel's really easy, holding left trigger, push down the right thumbstick, it'll open it up, X to select. Then push on the right thumbstick to back out. No big deal, okay? Piece of cake. All right, and there we are, okay, and there's your instructions right there, hold in left trigger, push down right thumbstick, there it is, X to select, we'll turn God mode on, infinite ammo on, limited sprint, double speed, no clip, and uh, we'll turn on toggle the aimbot, okay, and then we'll back out of here by pressing the right thumbstick, all right, we'll go to the weapons menu, Let's grab something nasty, uh, yeah, this, yeah, you know, that's pretty cool, I like that gun, that works really good, you know, I mean, because pretty much you can just, like, uh, suck them in. Oh, they're not looking so good, is he? <laughs> you gotta love that. Yeah, go ahead. Screw with me, huh? How do you like this shit, huh? There you go. So, so on and so on. Oh, you bitch. All right, so anyway, yeah. Then, then, eh, we'll use the, 
I will use one of my favorites right there. Like uh, that one right there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Fully automatic RPG. That works real good. Uh, pretty much you can blow up schools and all that kind of good stuff. There's all kinds of good stuff here. You know, so on and so forth. Oh, EMP grenade. Hmm. Cool. That's cool. I like that. EMP grenade. Goody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, as you can see, all kinds of crazy stuff. All right. You know, I mean, so on and so forth. Oh, you can see them up there. That's pretty cool. All right. So anyway, as you can see, um, let me see here. Let me back out of here. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead. We'll go to teleport menu. Yeah, I just teleported. In. There we go. Let's see. Extra select. Yeah, we'll go back to spawn. There we go. Straighten that out real quick. So anyway, as you can see, you know, it all works pretty good. There's all kinds of good stuff. You can teleport anywhere you want, really. Tunnel, diner, roof, diner, roof, farm, power, tunnel, nav table, all that crap, okay? Then you can back out of here, all right? Weapons menu, fun menu, models menu, forge menu, zombies menu, power-ups menu, rounds menu, teleport menu, map mods, lobby mods, game settings, menu settings, players menu, all players menu. It's a fully functional, uh, you know, menu. It's really cool, all right? You know, I mean, it does a lot of things. You'll like it, all right, you know? So anyway, that's what zombies right there. All right, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to back out of here, and I'm going to get out of here, okay? Now, okay, for those of you wondering, yeah, I know. And, 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 Tyler, a lot of times, a lot of times I'll have to go to China to get a, to get a dev kit because uh, Microsoft sent a bunch of them to get destroyed over there. And, of course, you know as well as I do, they didn't get destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, you know. <laughs> now, okay, here we go, all right, now look, now we're back here, okay, now, um, just in case you're wondering, all right, I'm going to show you something here, okay, uh, what, uh, let's see here, yeah, let me do this right here, okay, look, look, okay, here's Chief from Modern Warfare 3, okay, our off host, okay, now I'm going to load this up here, all right, and uh, just to show you, you know, what it looks like in that. And this is what it's going to look like um, from, um, what you call it, for, uh, for, for Advanced Warfare and Ghosts and all that, all that kind of good stuff, okay? I do multiplayer. I think I'm on the wrong XCX, though. Yeah, because I, I'm, I'm, I'm on an XCX that's behind. So, we'll see if it works, okay? Because uh, i got to update the XCX to the server on this thing. It's, I think I'm on 2.81. All right, so anyway, uh, yeah, we'll do System Link. Let's see if it works. Okay, game. Yeah, we'll start the game. Yeah, if it crashes, then that means I'm on the wrong XCX for the server. <laughs> no, it didn't crash. Good deal. Okay, so anyway. All right. SAS. Okay, we can auto-assign. We're good. Grenadier. Okay, now, D-pad left, and there's there's the off-host right there. Now, it's a little bit different of a format, as you can see. But, aimbot options. X to select. You can turn all this on. Auto aim, auto shoot, spin bot, spin bot slow, spin bot fast, you know, fake aim down, fake aim up, you know, it's got all kinds of everything that you want, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a really full functioning menu, ESP, of course, you know, type, distance, weapon, bones, team, line position, snap line, enemy or tar, enemy or, or friendly, whatever, target client, ESP, so on and so forth, back out of here, and then you can turn all this crap on right here, you know. Pretty much no sway, as you can see, that thing is straight as an arrow, okay? So, you know, there you go, all right? It doesn't have God mode, but like I said, though, it's an off host, all right? So just so you can see, all right? Now, I'm going to bring this back here. Now, what I'm going to do, all right? You're welcome, Tyler. No problem, brother. Um, I'll see what I can find, okay? I'll, I'll put it to you that way, all right? Give me a little time, okay? You know me, but I'll see what I can find. All right. Now, we're back at Aurora here, okay? Now, what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to get this online for the first time. This is important, okay? You really need to pay attention to this because if you don't, you're going to be ripping your hair out. You're going to get pissed off. You're going to get frustrated. All kind of, I don't want to see that happen, all right? I want, you to, I want this to be nice and smooth, okay? Like a smooth, shaved, never mind, okay? All right, anyway, you like that, don't you? Yeah, I was thinking smooth, shaved. Baby balls. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, um, all right. So, I know someone's cringing right now, okay? But that's okay. All right. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> now, I'm going to show you how to get this thing online for the first time, okay? It is rather important. Please pay attention to this, okay? All right, look. When you first get this console, don't just power it on and go. That's not going to work. You get stuck at the logo. All kinds of crazy stuff happens, all right? No good. All right, when you first get it, power it off. Okay, well, don't power it on. Just leave it off, okay? Plug it in, all that crap, all right? Now, 
Take your drive door and grab all the hard drive. Now, I know it says 250 on it, but it's a one terabyte, okay? I would not be able to fit all that shit on there if it was a 250 gig. I promise you, all right? So anyway, pull the hard drive on it, okay? Now, power console on, all right? Now, it's going to boot up, and uh, we're going to wind up getting the um, getting the original dashboard. As you can see, it's a fast booter, too. Yeah, yeah, live stream, you can't fake. It's either going to work or it's not, okay? So, you know. Most of my consoles are all boot within one to three cycles all the time. You know, I mean, I at least I try anyway. Okay, now I, I fuck with the timing files enough. Let me tell you. Okay, all right. So anyway, <clears throat> all right. Here we are at the original dashboard. Go on up. Go over. Go to settings. Go to system. Okay. Go to network settings. Okay. Now, there's my Wi-Fi. It's gonna scan. It's gonna find your Wi-Fi. Okay. Make sure you have 2.4 gigahertz on on your router. Okay. Because that's what this thing accepts, is 2.4 gigahertz, okay? Um, all right, and, uh, you know, make sure that, you know, everything is right with the right with the world and everything. I got a Netgear Nighthawk router, okay? Um, you know, uh, sometimes it depends on your security. Now, if you're running crazy security, that's on you, all right? I'm using WP2SK, simple password security, all right? So, you know, that's what you really should use on this thing. All right, so anyway... I'm not, because I'm not getting into whitelisting MAC addresses and all that. You, you could do that. If you know enough about the network to do that, you'll know how to get this thing online then on a, on a whitelist network. All right, so anyway. All right. Standard setup. You know, you got your password. Your Wi-Fi is going to pop up over here. Select it. Click on it. Put your password in. When you do that, it's going to automatically test the Xbox Live connection like this. You're going to get a check mark. You're going to get two red X's or two check marks and a red X. It really doesn't matter, Okay. As long as we know that this has failed and blocked, that's good, okay? Now, on a regular Xbox 360, that's bad, okay? But on this one, it's good because you don't want to connect to Xbox Live without a stealth server, which happens to be where on the hard drive. We just want to connect to our local area network so it knows the networking protocol and what router to go to. That's why we do this, okay? So, we have a check mark and two red X's. That's what we're looking for. Life is good. Power it off. All right, after you power it off, what I want you to do, take your hard drive and slip it in there. It'll seat with a click. You'll feel it. Close the door. Most important juncture of this thing is pulling this power cord out for five minutes and leaving it out for five minutes and not being tempted to plug it in, saying, oh, it waited, it waited long enough. If you don't wait five minutes, you will not get online. You'll wind up with DNS errors. It will act like it's connected. It's not connected. You'll connect to my server, but you won't connect to live, okay? Because the DNS, the TCP is all screwed up, so we got to flush the buffers out of that. And the only way to do that, leave this out for five minutes. After five minutes is up, then you can plug it back in. Now, I know you're saying, well, why are you plugging it back in? <laughs> well, the simple fact is, is that it's already on my network, so the credentials should match and it should be fine. But in your case, it won't be. So you wait five minutes, I'm going to take the risk and plug it in, and hopefully... If everything's right with the world, it should connect without a problem. Although this is a Microsoft product, so remember that, okay? Now, if I built it, yeah, it would work. Unfortunately, I did not build it. Bill Gates did. Look at his friggin' wife now, okay? <laughs> and no prenup, Bill? Really? I thought you were a little smarter than that. <laughs> Looks like somebody's gonna take it up the old anal cavity real good, really soon, okay? So, uh, he's got billions, ain't no big deal. That's a drop in the bucket to him. All right. So anyway, here we are. We're good. All right. Powered on after five minutes. Okay. Notice I said that after five minutes. Okay. Now, once it boots, you're going to get the, uh, you get this here. You're going to see this stuff moving around in here. That's going to stop when it locks to the server. Okay. And once it locks to the server, you're going to see that the plugins are going to come across the bottom of the screen. Aurora's going to load up and everything's going to be fine. So we're waiting for this green stuff to stop moving around, okay? When that stops, that's when we know it locked the server. Okay, good. We're good. Lock the server. It got connected. Now it's going to load Aurora, and then you're going to see your plugins come across the screen, okay? If you're lucky. <laughs> like I said, it is Microsoft, okay? <laughs> I just have to say Windows 10. <laughs> All right. Anyway, there you go. Okay, life is grand. We're good. All right, now... The only way we're going to know that we're going to hook the live is, is we're going to go right to the Xbox 360 dashboard. It's in the tool section, and it's right here. I'm just going to go right here. Okay? So, fire it up. Okay, hopefully you will get a square with your name on it. 
If you don't get that square and you just get the spinning circle of death, that means you didn't wait long enough, okay? So unplug it and leave it sit for five minutes. Don't touch it. Go take a whiz, drink a bourbon, you know, smoke a joint, do something, okay? Give it five minutes though, all right? So anyway, you get the square, we're good. That means that we can go, we, we can go, all right? So anyway, we're going to hit A. Now, xbox.com slash live. Use your computer, please, okay? Uh, make a modest account. If you, if you don't care about your retail account or you got no money into it or anything like that, then sure, use it on here, all right? But remember this. When you screw around in BO2, you screw around in MW, you know, MW3 or, or Ghost or whatever, okay, and you start pissing people off, they're going to report the profile. And the server is not going to be able to help you when Xbox Live security looks at your profile, sees all kinds of crazy stuff that you're doing, and goes, oh, no, you don't. <laughs> okay, so, needless to say, you can lose your retail profile on this thing, all right? Make a modest profile. Go to xbox.com slash live, all right? Go there. Use Outlook for the credentials. Please use a phone number, okay? So that way you can verify the account in case they want verification, all right? They're not going to snap your wrist. They're not going to arrest you or anything like that. But for the love of God, if you don't use verification, it can mark it as a spam account, and then it won't let you log in. It's that simple, okay? So please, use a phone number, all right? Think up a silly name, okay? Think up a silly password. Don't think up a silly phone number. Use your phone number, okay, and make the account. Then come back here and download the profile. If everything works right, all right, it will look like this. You will get spun around. You will puke all over the place, okay? And we'll slide in, and then the bitch will slide off to the right and start fingering herself, okay? Now, <clears throat> that's a good thing. <laughs> now, a bad thing would be sitting at the download screen for like 15 minutes going like, when's this thing going to download this? tiny little profile well if it hasn't downloaded in 15 minutes it ain't gonna download it at all because you got an error okay so and of course microsoft is not nice enough to tell you oh by the way you've got an error so you have to re-download this no it just sits at the screen at the halfway point for like an hour okay you know i mean don't if you're sitting at that screen for more than 15 minutes use the b button to back out come here i'm gonna show you how to fix it go up go over go to settings go to system go to storage highlight it okay and um, we're gonna hit the we're gonna hit the hard drive right here. All right, we're gonna go to profiles. Underneath this profile will be the vile profile that you tried to download. I want you to highlight it, hit A, move it down to delete, and delete the son of a bitch right off the damn hard drive because it ain't no freaking good. Period. Okay, let's get rid of the son of a bitch. All right. Now, once you do that, back out of here, back out of here. Okay. Now we're gonna back out of here. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this highlighted right here. We're gonna hit Y. And like I said, it's, see, it's a one terabyte, okay? It's a one terabyte, one terabyte. Even though it's just 250 gig, one terabyte. <laughs> All right. I had a guy argue with me. Man, oh, it's just 250 on it. There ain't no way it's one terabyte. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like going like, I'm going to kill you. All right, okay? Go to the screen. He's like, oh. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> no, he's a cool guy. Just He did <laughs> First time you ever dealt with me, you had no idea, you know, so, you know, hey, hey, listen, everybody makes mistakes, it happens, okay, you know, I mean, it's just, just, when I say you're going to get a one terabyte, by God, you're going to get a one fucking terabyte, whether you like it or not, I'll shove it up your ass, all right, so anyway, all right, now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, we're going to clear the system cache on this thing, we're going to do it twice, so that's one time, yes, and then what we're going to do, okay, we're going to hit Y, and we're going to clear it again. Why? Because Microsoft wants you to do things repeatedly. Okay? It's kind of like it's kind of like whacking off, you know? You keep going until it's like feels good, and then you do it some more. Anyway. Sorry. <laughs> I'm in a mood. All right, so anyway. Once that's done, back out of here, back out of here. Go up, go over. Okay, go down to social. Go to sign in, sign out. Okay? Redownload the profile. It will download. You'll get it. It'll be fine. Okay? Once you do that, hit the guide, bu guide button. Go back to Xbox Home. That'll take you back to Aurora. Now we're going to make XM360 our bitch. Or should I say our best friend. Okay? Because it's kind of important. All right? XM360 unlocks all downloadable content and uh, title updates and game saves and all kinds of stuff. If the stuff ain't unlocked to the, to the hard drive, well, uh, you ain't going to be able to use it. It's got to be hashed to the console properly. Okay? In order for the operating system to use it. All right? It's a PPC computer. It's all numbers, man. That's all it is. It's all numbers. So, okay, what we're going to do... All right, as I'm going to show you, you can go over to Tools. Now, it's right next to me, but I'll show you. It's in Tools, right in, the, in under the Homebrew section right here, okay? XM360. 
Highlight it, run it. Okay, right now, it is going to load every freaking thing that's on this freaking hard drive, so get comfortable. All right? Takes it about a minute or so. I'm going to throw up a list on the screen here. Okay? We're going to make sure everything is unlocked. I want you to do this when you get the console. Just to be on the safe side, even though I'm unlocking everything here, making sure it's unlocked, still do it anyway. Just, 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 please. Okay? Make me feel good. All right? <laughs> okay? All right. So, anyway. All right, here we are. There's all of our, uh, there's all of our XBLA. Okay? So, D-pad over left, go to unlock XBLA, hit A, okay? Should say zero files are unlocked, okay, life is good, hit OK, all right? Now, show DLC, we're going to go over here, all right? Now, it's going to load the DLC, go over here, go over here, unlock DLC, okay? Now, zero files unlocked, okay? That means everything's unlocked, okay? We're good, all right? We're back out of here, okay? Now, if you want to, if you want to see this, okay, look, rescan all. It'll scan every bit of DLC and every bit of title updates, all the XBLA, all the game saves, everything else, okay? Um, I recommend rescanning even though after you initially scan it, just for the hell of it, just in case it misses it. You never know, okay? You just don't know, all right? I mean, it's counting, it's saying, but eh. Remember, this is written by a 14-year-old kid, okay? Eating Doritos in a basement. Remember that, all right? <laughs> Okay, just make sure everything is unlocked, okay? Please, for the love of God, all right? Yeah, I'm going through it just one more time, okay? Just because, all right? So that way then, see? Okay, so we're good. All right, now, that's the end of it. That's all you got to do. Now, listen, if you download a game and you put downloadable content on it, yeah, it has a title update and everything, come in here and scan for it and unlock it. Otherwise, if it's not unlocked or it's not region-free and all that stuff, well, it's not going to run on this, uh, on this console, so you got to unlock it, okay? It's a real simple tool, real simple program, works great, you won't have any problems, okay? Now, that's done and over with, all right? Now, what we'll do here, I know I'm long-winded, but that's okay, I like being long-winded, okay? I'm like a big fart, okay? I cover the whole room and gash you all at the same time. All right, anyway, okay, look, emulators, okay? Real easy to run, no big deal. We use MAME for an example, hit it. It'll start up, you'll get the blue screen of death, like Windows, okay? But that's not the screen of death because it actually works, all right? Remember, this is a variant of Linux, okay? So, <laughs> it actually works, all right? Now, <laughs> although Microsoft in its own screwed up way decided to mod that type of operating system for this console, but, you know, it's still, basically it's Linux, okay? You know, I mean, it, it is, all right? So, it's running on C++, <laughs> C sharp, C major, C minor, <laughs> Okay, let's go up an octave, okay? Anyway, all right, look, your ROMs are right here, okay? So now, listen, to go down page by page, hit the right trigger, it'll go down. This got games all the way back to 1977. As you can see, I'm still going, and still going, and still going. That's page by page, okay? I'm, st I'm just into the S's here, okay? As you can see, tons of stuff. Bring this back up. Left trigger will go up page by page. Deep pad down, deep pad up. Y for options, okay? And just if it's got a cheat, you know, hey, it's all good. It'll tell you what it's running, the current shader, all that crap. You know, you could change the shader, whatever you want to do, okay? When you run the game, press in both thumbsticks. That'll bring up a sub-menu. You can adjust your shaders, your pixels, all that crap from there, all right? Oh, follow the on-screen instructions. You're good. A to launch your game. Piece of cake, all right? When you're done with it, hit the guide button. Go back to Xbox Home. You're good to go. Now, all right. We got one more thing to show you, in which I'm going to do, well, a couple more things, so just bear with me, okay, because it's kind of important, you know, I mean, I want you to have an, I want you to have a nice experience, not something that's going to be ugly, all right, now look, classic games, can't play them with the server on, don't work, all right, if you got this guide, you're screwed, ain't going to work, okay, got to put the system in bypass mode in order to play a classic game, all right, so, because we're using compatibility files, so, uh, you know, bypass mode is simply this, when you want to play a classic game, power it off, power it back on, hit the eject button, leave the tray hanging out, Aurora will suck it in, okay? So, don't worry about that, all right? Console boots. I said I love the way this console boots. It, it, it's a really fast booter. I love this damn thing. All right, I have quite a few of them that freaking go out of here that I'm like going like, man, I should have kept that. Son of a bitch. All right, so anyway. <laughs> all right. Now, you're going to see you're not going to get any uh, servers. You're not going to be able to get online. You're not going to be able to play Xbox 360 games online and all that because we're in bypass mode, all right? We are not connected to the, to, you know, to Xbox Live or anything like that, all right? You're going to notice here when I press this guide button, you're going to see 
you've got a normal gray guide, okay? Just like you would, you know, I mean, there it is, all right? So, you know, you don't have the fancy server and all that other crap, okay? I'm going to back out of here, okay? Now, to play a classic game, go on over to your classic games right here. Yeah, there we are, okay? Pick a game, run it. You'll see the Xbox logo. Don't tell me it freaking decided to crash. Okay, yeah, of course. Of course it did. You know why? Because that was the first time I, I was getting that plug-in coming through. Sorry about that, okay? Let it reboot. It'll be fine. Don't worry. It'll, it'll be fine, I think. We'll see. Let's see here. Yeah, Xbox Home. Yes. That really crashed. That crashed hard. Okay. <laughs> no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it going to come back? Is it going to come back? Give it a second. This is a fatal crash, by the way. Ain't no big deal. It happens, okay? You know? I mean, just... The stack gets all freaking screwed up and everything. The heap gets screwed up. All, all the stuff. And then it's just like... No, we're not doing anything, okay? So, anyway. All right. We're going to try this, try this again here, okay? So, I went I went a little too quick for it when... You know, and you can do that really easy, all right? So, anyway, we're going to go over to Classic Games. Here we go. All right. I'm going to try this one more time now, okay? Let's try this again. Okay. Yep, and there we go. See? See what I'm saying? Okay, it, it just... I hit that, and the plug-in loaded, and the other plug-in loaded while it, while it was running, and it just it didn't like that, so it regurgitated all over me, all over itself. <laughs> it happens. All right? <laughs> Freaking software. All right, so anyway. Yeah, a Fatal Crash is not hardware. That's software. Okay, so just so you know, all right, some menus... Or like the older menus that are not made for Colonel 17559. If you try loading them on here, oh, you'll get a bunch of fatal crashing. I promise you. All right, and then some. Title update screwed up. Yeah, you're going to get a fatal crash. Okay, so, you, you know, like I said, it's not the hardware. It's something to do with the software. And sometimes it's just it's easy to download a title update and then find out, oh, that was it. You know, I mean, you know. Or better yet, when a uh, dash launch file becomes corrupt, okay? Now, that that's just a boo, that's a bitch. <laughs> you don't even know it. You're like sitting there going, what's going on? You delete it, you make a new one, and then it's fine. <laughs> All right. So anyway, as you can see, it plays, and it plays just fine. Everything, it runs just fine. When you're done with the game, hit the guide button. All right? Go back home. Boom, hit it. There you go. All right? And then you can play another classic game. Remember, though. You can't play Xbox 360 live games on this thing, okay, while it's in this mode, okay? Just so you know. You have no connection. It's that simple. Now, copying and pasting files and folders and all that other happy nonsense that I'm going to go through right now. Just because, just because I like to hear myself talk, all right? Jerry, what's happening, man? I see you licking the ice cream there, you crazy little bastard. <laughs> Yeah, you can laser at your phone. Of course you can. <laughs> it's plastic. You do anything you want. Of course, you got to watch the wattage and everything because you burn right through the damn phone. But, yeah, you can do it. You know, I mean, it usually, yeah. I mean, I've done I've done laptops and everything, too. All right. So, anyway. Okay, now here we are. and We're back here. Now, like I said, I was going to show you, okay, how to copy files and folders over. Okay, look. You got a computer. All right. Get a USB stick 2.0 or whatever. Get up to a 64 gig, that's fine. Anything over that is a waste, all right? Don't do that. Rail USB stick, format it FAT32 with your Windows computer. After that, whatever programs that you want to put on the Xbox, you put on the, uh, on the USB stick, okay? You shove it in the Xbox. It won't complain, it likes it, okay? Remember, Bill Gates, he backed this thing. So anyway, all right, once you shove it in its anus, all right, you'll see USB has been inserted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, you're going to hit the back button. Remember that pesky old file manager I was talking about? Well, there it is. All right, so we're going to hit it. Okay, there's your file manager right there. Now, in plain English, as you can see, you see how this one is gray, this one's white. Okay, look, if you hit right shoulder button, you're in your right window pane. Hit left shoulder button, you're in your left window pane. Okay, so I'm going to set the left window up for HED1, where all the shit is. If you got a menu or a KB you need to change or whatever, like right here, you know, I mean, so on and so forth, all right? This is the KB from the actual NAND, by the way. It puts it on the hard drive, all right? So, you know, just so you know, if you want to, if you, if you have a new one that you want to put on there, let's say it gets banned or something like that, well, real easy, use a USB stick, copy it over. Or I'm going to explain how to use a computer with wireless, all right? But wait for that, okay? So anyway, all right, here we are, HCD1, all right? Here's our main menu, right, our, our main root of the file right here. 
this is where our plugins are and all this other happy nonsense. Okay, so on and so forth. All right. Now, I'm going to hit the right shoulder button. I'm going to go to the USB stick. There it is. I want to put a menu on here. Okay, so I'm just going to grab hold of a menu. All right. Uh, let's see. Where am I going here? Yeah. Here we go. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll go up to a menu right here. All right. There we go. Yeah, cryptic menu beta. What the hell? Yeah, I made that. That, that, that was made back in 2016. Oh, my God. That thing was abomination. All right. Anyway. Okay. Now. All right, so we want to copy that menu over, and then we want to set it up in Dash Launch, okay? So what we do is we just grab hold of it. All right, we highlight it. We hit X, mark it, bring it over with the D-pad, copy, okay? One file and queued. Then hit your left shoulder button. <clears throat> now, bring this over here, paste. It's going to ask for confirmation. You're going to do it, and there it is on HDD1. To get rid of it, X, delete. Yes, gone. That's it. Copy and fold, copy and files, you know, folders and all that crap. If you have a folder over here, right? Let's say, uh, let's say you got a games folder over here. All right, just for the hell of it. All right, just to show you. Okay. Um, let's see here. Trinity muffin files, update files, all that crap. See something, uh, something. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. All right, it's nice and small. All right, look. You can grab hold of this folder right here, right? Okay. X to select it. Okay? Copy. Now, let's say it's a game. Okay, so what are you going to do? You're going to go right to the games folder right here. Where the hell is it? There it is. There's all your games right there. And then what are you going to do? You're going to paste a little son of a bitch right there. Hit yes. Now, it'll go ahead and it'll paste that, 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 that folder over with the, with the entire contents of the folder as well. And it's all the way down here because it's X. There you are. Okay, now get rid of it. There you go. Exit, delete it. Yeah, there you go. Gone. Okay? Folders, files, same shit, different day. Okay? Piece of cake. Really simple. Some people get confused with it. I don't know why, but they do. Okay? You know, I mean, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay? So now, we're done with that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out of here. It's going to complain and say, you removed it from my anal cavity. Okay. Now. We'll back out of there, and we'll back out of there, and we'll back out of there. Now, that's using a file manager. Now, as far as using a computer. Okay, no big deal. Here's our IP to this Xbox. Now, um, if you use a neighborhood, you could type in JTAG. You don't have to use the IP, okay? Because if it's the only one on the network, that's where it's going to go. All right? Um, in FTP, you need the uh, IP address, okay? So, just remember, it's 192.168.1.31, okay? I'm going to flop over... To my Windows machine. Hope that you like my COVID friggin' wallpaper. Yes. <laughs> His name is Jimmy, Johnny, Timmy. No, okay. <laughs> All right, now. All right. Yes, I got a sick, twisted sense of humor. Okay? Listen. All right. Copying files and folders over really quick. All right? Now. Now, I hope that you can see that. Okay, I know it's, it, you know, I'm sorry I don't have a screen capture, but, you know, it is what it is, okay? Now, listen. All right. Use WinSCP, okay? You can you can Google it, download it, install it on Windows, all right? It's an FTP client for Windows, all right? It's called WinSCP, all right? For, you know, if you want to use Neighborhood, download Google Xbox 360 Neighborhood SDK, download it, install it like you would a normal program on your Windows machine, Okay? Uh, with Linux, FileZilla, all right? Mac, use their file transfer protocol. Works just fine, all right? Um, as far as your phone, yeah, you can. If you really like pain and you like suffering, yes, you can use a phone. Go to the Play Store, download an FTP client, and you're all good to go, all right? Now, all right. In this instance, I'm going to first start off with FTP, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, say I installed it. It's good to go, all right? It's down over here. I'm going to win SCP. All right? I'm going to pull the screen up here. There we are, session. All right, now we're going to set the protocol to FTP, file transfer protocol. No encryption. Okay, we're going to type in the IP, 192.168.1.31. Okay? Leave the port number alone. It's always port 21 with FTP. Username, FTP. Okay, no, excuse me. Xbox, FTP. Sorry. Your password will be Xbox FTP. 
All right, login. Connected, reading remote directory, and there is the hard drive and all the stuff just like you saw in the file manager on Aurora. Okay? Now, go to HD1. Okay? Files, folders, you know, your your main your the root of the drive, your plugins, your menus, all that crap. Copy and paste the file and folder. That was pretty freaking easy, man. All you gotta do is just uh left click, left click, drag it, drop it, boom, it'll put it there. There it is. Works great. Okay? There's the file. To get rid of it, piece of cake. Right click, delete. Okay. Done. That's easy. Okay. If you can't do that, then you've got a problem. Okay. Works for KVs. Works for entire games. Mind you, though, FTP. You know, you're transferring so much, and that's it. So, a game at eight gigs, you're probably looking at about probably somewhere around ten to fifteen minutes, depending upon you know. How many clients you got hooked to it, okay, your session and all that. And no, I'm not getting into clients and, you know, how many multiple connections you can have. You can figure that out on your own. I'm not even going there with this. This is about this Xbox, not about FTP, all right? I'm just giving you the basics, okay? What you do from there is all up to you. It's got instructions. It's even got help. It's all up here, see? See the word help? All you got to do is just hit that. Help, content, show tips, blah, 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 blah. It's all there. Donate, okay? I forget that word. All right, so anyway, let's use an FTP, all right? Now, we'll close that out. Yes, thank you. Now, like I said, okay, you, you, can, use, you can use various forms to connect to this thing. Now, I'm going to show you neighborhood, all right? So, once you install neighborhood, you'll see this big green blob right here with a bunch of spirally circles that look like Bill Gates' eyes after he had too much to drink, all right? We're going to open that up. Double click on it. There it is. Okay, now this one is from yesterday, so we're going to get rid of that because that one already shipped. So that one's gone. Now, we want to add an Xbox 362 neighborhood. Double click. You will see. Welcome to the wizard. And we're going to magically put an Xbox on this neighborhood. Okay, so we're going to hit next. Now, like I said, you can type in JTAG. And if it's the only one that's on your network, it'll find it. It'll set it up. It'll be good. It'll ask you to make it default, blah, blah, blah. All right? I have to use the IP address. So 192.168.1.31. Okay? I'm going to hit next. Now, found it. Now, do I want to make it my default? Me? No. You? Yes. So you would click yes and hit next. I'm going to leave it to no. Okay? Then we're going to finish. There's your JTAG. Okay? Or RGH, I should say. JTAG is gone. Okay? I haven't seen a Jasper... With 7371 dashboard in, in, in a long time, let me tell you. All right? So anyway, JTAG. Okay? Now look, you can right-click on it. Open Explorer, Reboot, Screen Capture, Synchronize Time, Security. Set as default to Xbox 360, Delete Properties, all that crap, okay? Remember, this is, you know, I'm just doing an overview with you. All right? There's a lot more to this than just that. Okay? I promise you. All right? Now, to open it up, double-click. And it's going to take a sweet time. Because that's the way that this program works, because, remember, Bill Gates owned Microsoft, okay? <laughs> there it is, okay? There's a volume HD1, life is grand. Now we're going to double-click that, and we're going to grow some pubic hairs while we wait, okay? Ah, yes, I feel them hitting my ankles now. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so anyway, volume HD1, there we go, okay? Life is grand. Ah, we got more spinning circle. Just hang on. It'll go. I promise. It'll go. Ah. <sighs> And there it is, okay? Just like it was an FTP, just a little bit different of a format. Don't have to put a password in, you know. There it is. Don't have to choose a protocol, you know, all that crap. So, there you are. Now, you want to copy and paste the file folder over to it, no big deal. Right-click. File Explorer. Open up an instance of Explorer. Grab hold of it, you little... What the? Really, seriously. Why is this thing not moving? Okay. There we go. <laughs> I like the way it conveniently puts it right over the neighborhood. All right, now, you want to copy a file and folder over to it? No big deal. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to use this file right here. Okay, command line. All right, there you go. All right, now, go ahead. Click on that. Okay, right click. Copy, or better yet, you know what you can do? You can either copy and paste it, or you can just... Grab hold of it, drag it, drop it, okay? 
And you see, once you go into an open area, you're good to go. If you try to go over a program, it won't copy it. If you put it over a folder, it will put it in that folder. Okay? So, anyway, I'm just going to drop it. There it is. Then what am I going to do? I want to delete it. Okay. So, right-click. Give it a moment to open. It takes a sweet little time. There we are. Delete. Ask for confirmation. Let's go. There we are. Yes. And eventually it will disappear. There we are. Okay? So there you go. Copy and paste and files and folders over. Okay? Well, I know it's boring, and I know that um, there might be some people that take offense to this, you know, because they're like, I don't want to copy a bit. Well, there's some people that don't. All right? So if I don't cover this, then, you know, I'm not helping anybody, am I? So that's the reason why I go through this. I know it's boring, but you know what? Hey, listen, it might not be boring to other people. So there you go. So anyway, that's doing that. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to close this off. And I'm going to close this off, okay? Now, I'm going to show you one other thing on this console that's very, very, very important that you need to know, all right? Remember when I was mentioning about Dash Launch, okay? We'll go to the homebrew section right here, okay? Now, look. Let me go into Dash Launch, all right? Now, this little program right here, there's a launch initialization file. It's called launch.ini. It's a very, very important file. Because it tells the Xbox how to start up, all right? If that file becomes corrupted, oh, you're in for a bad day, okay? And, you know, it's real easy because all you have to do is just delete the launch any and go into Dash Launch. It'll make a new one. And then just set up, you know, your plugins and everything like you would need to, and you're good to go. Now, to give you an example, all right, we're here, Dash Launch. We're at Pass. Now, I'm going to hit A, okay? As you can see, select. B to quit, which it'll really quit real fast, okay? Y clear pass, any save load, miscellaneous, LB, okay? Now, we're going to hit A. There's our pass opened up. It boots into Aurora, that's your default. Holding down button B will boot into FX menu. Holding down button Y will boot into the dashboard, okay? And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of settings here, too, that you can configure the buttons to do whatever you want, including fake anime and all that kind of good stuff, all right? Now, we can close this section up by hitting A at Pass, okay? Now, we're going to go to Behavior. Behavior is, horror, is, is totally something different here, all right? Listen, if you know how to use this fine and dandy, each one of these commands has an explanation. When you hit it, there's your explanation, all right? I don't have to read the English language to you, all right? There it is right there below, okay? You see what it does, okay? License patch, you know, NXE Mini... Well, in Mini Blades, while the official dash will cause a launch event, DVD exit to dash, okay, we'll return to the official dash, XBLA exit, okay, in an XBLA game, okay, it, with its own menu, we'll return to the official dash, so on and so forth, okay? So, please, okay, realize that this behavior stuff, if you don't know what you're doing, don't mess with it, okay? I mean, just don't, all right? Network settings, okay? Now, three important things right here. Live block, live strong, and XHTTP. Okay, you'll notice that this one is checkmarked off. We want no net store, okay? That's fine and dandy. All right? But these, if any of them are green, XHTTP, live strong, live block. If live block and live strong are on, you're not getting to Xbox Live. It's that simple. All right? If XHTTP is on, all right, and live block and live strong are off, well, you'll get on live, but you will not be able to sign in because it will block that some bitch. Okay? So, needless to say, make sure when you make sure if you have any problems getting online or whatever, visit this and make sure these are all red right here. And if not, turn them red just by hitting A. And then once you do that, all you got to do is hit RB, highlight HDD, X to save it, beat it back out, reboot the console. Okay? That's simple. All right? So, anyway, now I'll show you something else here. Timers. For your hard drive timer, hard drive keep alive, all that crap. Don't mess around with that stuff, all right? Plugins. Those are your plugins. As you can see, we have Aurora Crash Patcher that stops it from crashing when you're downloading stuff, okay? We need that for right now. All right? XDRPC. That's used for menus. It's a tool, okay? And you can put more menus in the XDRPC any, so you can run multiple menus besides the menus that are available in these plugins right here, Okay? And GTA 5 The Purge, that's self-explanatory. That's one of the menus for Purge, okay, for GTA 5, okay? Plugin 2 is your alliance. That's your server. 
All right, and plugin one is XBDM. That's for networking. Never ever delete that. Please don't ever touch that. Leave it alone. Okay? Pretty easy. So we'll close that up. Configurator. Okay. Now we already have FTP enabled and everything else through through Aurora. We don't need to mess with that. Okay? But you know, I mean, maybe you want to turn this to Fahrenheit, and eh, no big deal. There you go. Enabled. All right. So we just set that setting. Now we're gonna save it. Okay? Hit RB. Right shoulder button. Highlight HDD. X to save it. Settings are saved. B to back out. Just reboot the console though. Anyway, after it boots, reboot the console. <coughs> the reason why I'm telling you that is I want you to reload the plugins. Okay? Make sure that they're loaded. Alright? That's simple. So, there you are. Alright? Some pretty much in your face instructions on how to run this thing. How to use Dash Launch. Copy and pasting files and folders and all that kind of good stuff, which is important. Okay? Now, this guide and this instructional applies to the other two consoles that I'm about to show you that are sitting here. Okay? So, <clears throat> listen. Chris, thank you for your business. Greatly appreciate it. Shipping it off tomorrow, brother. All right? So, I hope you like it. And uh, we're all good. So, I'm done with this one. Now, I'm going to power this one off. All right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to yank this out violently. Yank that out violently. Take this over here. And then we're going to look at uh, Mr. Jerry Barron. Okay? Jerry! Yeah. How you doing, brother? Your console. Plug this in. Plug this in. Power it on. I'm going to say no matter luck, it'll boot. All right? Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to grab hold of this uh, little freaking uh, controller right here. And I'm going to sync the controller up. Now you can see it boots just as fast as the other one. Same crap. Different day. Booting up into Aurora. Now, you got a 320 gig drive in this thing. Okay? So you got a little bit you got a little bit more. Now the one terabyte is a monster, okay? But you got a 320 gig, which is a little more than the 250, of course. So, you know, it's got a couple more things on it. Alright? See, so welcome to Alliance, all this stuff. Okay? Now look. <clears throat> RB once again. Xbox 360. Your games, okay? Battlefield 4, okay? You got Borderlands on here, Bulletstorm. You know, you got a ton, you, you got a ton of titles on here, too, okay? Not as many as a one terabyte, but enough to keep you busy. All right, you got the Mass Effect series on it, okay? There is your college football revamp, by the way, okay? And then, of course, we're back to Xbox 360 dashboard. We're going to make sure that it goes online. Hey, that, okay? Now, Square should pop up with your name on it. There it is. Right? You'll have 30 days, I promise. Don't freak out. Don't send me don't send me hate mail or anything, right? You'll, you'll have you'll have 30 days, I promise. Okay? Got it? Good. And as you can see, good KB. It's up, it's online, it's live. Our guide button. Okay, and there we go. There's our BO2 and uh, there's our ghost sheets and modern warfare three sheets, okay? Now I gotta I gotta go ahead and I gotta update the XCX for the uh, line server on that other console because remember this one was enabled. Well, we're working on that, but it's not exactly right yet. So we can't, you know. So that's the reason why it's grayed out on this one. This is the later uh, XEX. All right, so I'm just going to push an update to his console when he starts it up and it'll be good. All right, so anyway, there's your cheats. Turn them on with A. Well, turn them off with A. Turn them on with A. Same thing. Bring this back. Xbox Home. Okay? <clears throat> now, we're going to run into Aurora. Like I said, you got 73 titles on this thing total. Okay, so, Xbox 360 games, as I showed you. Xbox Live Arcade. Your homebrew section where your tools reside, of course. Yep, you got a few classic games on here. They all work. You got some indie games on here as well. And you got the full complement of emulators. Like I said, I can only fit so much on, on, a, on, a, on a drive like this size. So, you know, I mean, you got a squeezer for space, but you also want to give a variation of everything. So that way, then you can experience it and like it. Now, if you don't like a game on here or anything like that, well, there's no problems in deleting it and putting a game that you like on it by ripping it from the disc, okay? Download the title update and you're good, all right? And when you when, when you go ahead and you rip it to di when you rip it from the disc and you put it in the games folder, okay? All you got to do is this, okay? Look. Hit the uh, start button. Content. Scan now and scan it. It'll find the game. It'll install it, and you'll be good to go. Download the title, the, 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 art, the artwork and all that. There you are.
piece of cake, all right? Really simple, all right? It's already set up for you. You're good to go. All right, so so on and so forth. There you go. Jerry, thank you for your business, man. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for your patience, too. We're shipping it off tomorrow, all right? Again, thank you so much, all right? Now, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to turn this sucker off. And I'm going to go ahead, unplug that. And then we're going to get out... Biggie console, okay? Now, Biggie is a Jasper from Cool Runner Rev C, uh, RGH 1.2 method on this, okay? Alex Zendas, okay? Or Jacqueline, I should say, okay? Alex, Jacqueline, you know. All right, anyway, there we are. We're good to go. Tell you what, uh, first of all, you need to plug in a wire connection for this. Now, you can get one of these little bad boys right here. All right, now, yeah, it's, it's, it needs Viagra, okay? You know, I mean, it's just like, yeah, okay, all right. Anyway, all right, there's a wireless connection. You can you can buy these on eBay, like $22, $25, whatever the hell it is, okay? Uh, they're starting to get hard to come by. These are great, though, because, I mean, you know, they it, it connects, and it's, it's a clean connection. But you're using a wired connection, okay, to hook this thing up to the network. It's the same thing, except you're using a wired connection, okay? So it's kind of easier. Pull a hard drive, plug it in, power it on, test the connection. When it fails... Unplug it, let it sit for five minutes, plug the hard drive back in, boot it up. You're good. So anyway, we're going to plug this little bastard in right here, if it'll reach. There we go. I got it uh, zipped to my computer, so it's on a sub-network, okay? Now, we'll go ahead, <clears throat> fire it up. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to sync a controller up. Here we go. Sync this crazy thing up here. And there we go. All right, now, ah, oh, Jesus, don't come in and plug it in all the way, son of a, I hate that, hang on, hang on, sorry about that, all right, now, yeah, <laughs> okay, anyway, we're booting up into Aurora now, okay, as you can see, welcome to Alliance, we're good to go, and this one's 500 gig, okay, so it's got more titles, all right, so anyway, now what I'm going to do, hit RB, bring it over, okay, and then it's going to bring up our Xbox 360 games. Start off with Battlefield 4. We'll work our way over. We've got uh, a little bit more on here. Crisis, Defiance, MMA, Fable 2, Gears of War series, Grand Theft series, Halo series, Mass Effect series, Medal of Honor, okay, Mortal Kombat, you know, of course, NCAA Football 14, just like it's on all of them, okay, College Football Revamped, PGR, Red Dead Redemption, okay, Resident Evil, the Saw series, Skyrim, okay, Sonic, Test Drive, Ghost Recon, Tomb Raider, Warface, Wolfenstein, and of course, back to the dashboard, piece of cake, all right? Now, right button, Xbox Live Arcade, yep, you got a bunch of Live Arcade on here as well, okay? Then, of course, you have the homebrew section where the tools reside, as usual. And then you have indie games, and you got some more indie games on there than the, than the other one. Alright, and uh, your classic games, we got quite a few classic games on here, the original Halo, okay, and all that kind of good stuff, you know, uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, oh my god, boy, that's got Dead or Alive, god, true crime, yeah, Unreal Championship, that's a good one, whoa, Mortal Kombat, oh, so Miyagi, hmm, alright, so anyway, okay, there you go, I'm getting carried away, and then of course you have your emulators right here, okay, same thing, full complement, okay, now, we got Show All, Brings everything there in the view. And then I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go ahead. And then what we'll do is we'll make sure that this sucker's online, okay? So, Jacqueline, you ready? Here, wait a minute. Let me find it. There it is. Okay? Hit that. Should get a square. There we are. Zenjus, you're on the Lions Live. Welcome to the Lions Live. Okay? You'll have 30 days, I promise. Damn GMT time. All right. Anyway, got it. Good. Okay? Sign in. You'll see that it's up. It's online. It's live, of course. And then, of course, our beautiful eyeball-pleasing HUD. And on over. There you, there you go. BO2 sheets, go sheets, and Modern Warfare 3 sheets. Okay? Everything is all good. Bring this back. And there you have it. Okay? So, listen. And this, this, this is a war horse. I love these Jaspers, man. Because they are just a tough bird. Can't kill them. These things are awesome. All right? Anyway, listen. Thank you guys so much for your business. I greatly do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. You keep me going, all right? And I mean, thanks for joining the stream, too, okay? You know, I mean, like I said, 
<laughs> you know, night, Tyler. You have a good one. And I, I really do appreciate you guys hanging with me. I really do. Thank you very, very much. All right. And um, like I said, I got a lot more to do. <laughs> I really do. All right. And uh, I'm heading to New Orleans on the 30th. Why? Because it's my birthday. I'm going to be gone for four days. Okay. Just on the weekend. Okay. So I think it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Yeah. I'll be back on Tuesday. So, you know, it's all good. But it's going to be my birthday. I'm going to be 54 years old this year. Yeah, I'm an old freaking fart. Yes, I am. And you know what? I'm proud of it. I'm still living. So life is good. <laughs> you know? A little arthritis, a uh, little sins, a little Alzheimer's here and there. But it's all good. Okay? You know I mean? I'm good. All right? Just got to take my meds every now and then. I'm fine. So anyway, listen. Thanks again for watching. I greatly do appreciate it, guys. I hope you have a great night. Enjoy your night. Okay, guys, I'm going to get back with you, okay? Antonio, I got you. Mike Jimenez, I got you. Don't worry. I'm going to get back with you, okay? Listen, thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate you guys. Love you much. Take care, guys. Have a good one.